So this looks like your office. Is that what this is? This is it. This is uh, where I keep the um, the stuff that I don't want other people to mess with either, because it's a, a delicate and valuable prop, or because it's like, you know, dangerous. <laughs> oh. There's uh, there's a lot of stuff when you in here when you start to look at it. This this little guy is a, actually a remote controlled spider. Oh yeah. He's uh, he yeah he, I'll, uh, I'll he's actually kind of delicate. I'll show you what what's on inside him. Uh, this is uh, fully radio controlled. He actually steers. No kidding. Uh, he's got, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's a, this is, this is a classic little improvised project. These are the uh, speed controllers. That's the receipt radio receiver. Uh, the battery pack snaps on right here. Uh, and these, these are little worm drive motors uh -huh. here that uh, each drive a, um, uh, a, a series of, uh, pinion gears that, right. uh, that are attached to a, each one attached to a leg like that. Oh, so it rotates around, I get it. Yeah, and, and the, the uh, shaft is, is bent, and so it's, it's like an oar sort of thing. Uh -huh. And so uh, when you look at it, this is actually the kind of thing that I love because um, uh, this is just a piece of brass tubing uh -huh. with, with holes cross-drilled in it. Okay. And yet, there. This is a really complex little machine that is done just by with a piece of brass tubing and little little plastic gears that are shoved into it. This is sort of a, it's a, a unique sort of a thing because of all the stuff that you know. When you realize the amount of leverage that goes on to these legs, right. uh, these legs, by the way, are. Um, uh, they're they're um, weather stripping from a house really? that uh, that I found. It actually works like shrink wrap. If you heat it with a with a, a, a air, hot air gun or torch, it shrinks. Uh -huh. And uh, with a soldering iron, I can make the little kind of separations in it. Little spray glue and some hair on it. It looks like a spider's leg, but they're extremely light. As you can see, they're uh, they're just. You know, they're like feathers. So what made you think to put the heat gun to that weather stripping one day to see what would happen? Well, you know, it, it's just sort of, it's what we, uh, I, we, what we do is, is we play with things. Yeah. Um, and when you play, it's like, you know, animals, uh, you know, puppies play. Mm -hmm. it, it, when you play, you learn. Uh, that's how, and so we just, uh, you know, I'll see a material or something that, like, I notice that this is really lightweight, but I can't really, uh, work with it as far as a sculptural material because it's too cylindrical it wouldn't look very organic so mm -hmm. uh, and it, I can't sand on it very easily it'd be too tedious so I wonder what else so I start messing around with it you know with a torch or with a you know wow it actually responds to heat and then there you're off and running mm -hmm. um, so but this thing is it, it actually uh, I, it's uh, it's quite delicate but it's it's scary when you get all of these moving oh, it's um, it's, it's something that is, is really, really quite a, a piece of work.